Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in the last part we looked at um, creating a, an Ajax request, sending um, or, or retrieving the contents of page.html and then uh, just echoing them out, or sorry not echoing them out, but placing the contents of this file into our content div just here. And that all happened when we pressed a button. Now what we're going to do is looking at sending data Send, actually sending data to uh, to a file and then returning a result from this. So similar to the post request, however, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. So the first thing I'm going to do is reference to a new page. We're sending this uh, request to a new page, and that's going to be PHP forward slash. Um, let's call it page.php. Let's go ahead and get rid of this page.html from our text editor. And let's go ahead and create this new PHP file. And I'm going to save that inside PHP, uh, the PHP folder. So we're now sending data uh, using this Ajax request to page.php. However, what we're not doing is sending any variables along with it. So let's go ahead and create a uh, text field on uh, our page. So the input type is text and we need to give this an ID of let's just say name. So now inside ajax.js we need to actually grab the value of this field before we pass it to page.php. So I'm going to create a new variable called name and this is going to be equal to and we're using a selector to select the name here so name.val so we are essentially putting the value of this text field into this name variable. Let's just pull that down a bit so it's a bit easier to see. Okay, so we're going to need to supply an additional parameter here in order to pass the data uh, to this um, page. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose um, a parameter or write the parameter called data. So we then uh, supply some data in here and then again it's comma separated down to success. So the data is now going to be name equals and then we're going to append on name. So we've sent name equals and then name. So now in page.php we can pick up on this get variable here um, and actually you know display it back out maybe do something with it. So the first thing that we need to do here is actually um, call this uh, function, uh, not, not function, we need to uh, grab this variable name so inside page.php we want to do something similar to the, what we did before and that's first of all to check if this variable is set so has it been sent to this page so we use the is set uh, in PHP and we say um, dollar underscore get because we're sending a get variable and we have called this variable name so we choose name now if we have set this variable we can reassign it uh, or have set this get variable we can reassign it to a variable, so dollar underscore get name. We can now just simply go ahead and echo that out. Now inside ajax.php, uh, what's going to happen is we call this page, we send this get data here, and then on success, we place the data returned by page.php, which is just the name, and uh, then we place that into the content area on our index.php page. So let's go ahead and check that that works. Let's go ahead and type in a name, click load, and you see that that's returned by our PHP page. So essentially what we've performed here is um, a similar way of sending data using the um, post uh, HTTP request and the get HTTP request, uh, but we're using this much better and uh, much more featureful Ajax functionality. So in the tutorials that follow this one, we're going to look at some more um, options that we can use inside when we use Ajax um, and uh, the callbacks that Ajax provides.